dearest members of the IUCN. My name is Messina, and I'm a 14-year-old Hawaii youth climate activist and concerned citizen of the world, speaking to you in support of Motion 003. Thank you for the work you have done in conservation. I'm addressing you on behalf of myself, my friends, and all the children of the world who are screaming for help as we watch our future drown before our eyes. This dramatic sentiment may seem uncalled for. However, I can assure you that it is completely accurate and appropriate. In order to understand us, please close your eyes and imagine. Imagine yourself at our age, a teenager, thinking about your future, the education you will receive, the people you will meet, the places you will visit, maybe even settling down and having a few children. Now, imagine yourself in our shoes. Picture the future as we are coming to see it. Feel the terror we feel. Imagine feeling it might be too cruel to have a child. Picture a world where wildfires are more common than passing showers, where all the animals you know and love are rapidly dying where every day the ocean is creeping closer and closer to your doorstep. Picture a world where the crops which sustain you are parched from your feet, where the water you drink, the very air you breathe, polluted by toxic contaminants. Ask yourself, is this the future I want for my children and grandchildren? Am I going to do everything in my power to prevent this? Or will I sit back and watch it happen? Lastly, please look down at the seat you are sitting in. It is a seat of power. You are a member of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. You have the power to create a climate change commission, which could help to ensure a livable future for all of us. Please continue to use your seat for good. We are approaching a point of no return. It is the 11th hour and it is time to act, as Greta says, with as much urgency as if our house was on fire. Before our voices drown, please support Motion 003 and provide us a chance at a livable